We now welcome Karen Wyman, a member of the Women United Steering Committee. Karen, thanks so much for joining us today. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. Excellent. To start out, tell us a little bit more about the Women's United Power of the Purse event that is coming up next month. Yeah, we're really excited. This is our one and only fundraiser for the year. Um, the event this year is being um, presented by Buford Memorial Hospital. We're very excited. It takes place on March the 1st at the Dawtaw Island Club. It'll be from 6 to 9 p.m. We'll have music, hors d'oeuvres, um, and a really robust um, silent auction items for both men and women. We will have a number of purses, um, of course, um, as our tagline is power of the purse. And this event, you know, is a great fundraiser to fund a number of the different causes that Women United and the United Way fund throughout the year. I understand. So you present at this benefit the Women of the Year Award, correct? We do. This is a great opportunity for um, the community to recognize a woman who has really made a difference in the community, whether it's in Buford or Jasper County. Um, they um, need to live in Buford or Jasper County. Um, obviously, they need to be a woman. Um, and for someone who's really made a difference, either through their volunteer work or their stewardship, um, and, and who really deserves to be recognized for all the work that she's done to um, improve and, and better our community. Well, I know that our viewers are watching right now and thinking, oh my gosh, I know the perfect person. So how can our viewers nominate someone special for that Woman of the Year Award? We certainly hope that there are people out there listening and they think, my goodness, I have somebody who's been tirelessly supporting um, our community for years and has gone unrecognized. So we want them to go to the United Way um, website um, fill out the form, um, or they can call our United Way office um, and ask for Jamie in order to get a nomination form. Um, the deadline for the forms is Feb uh, February the 16th, which happens to be the end of this week, um, because we want to be able to really look through all of our nominees and be able to make a decision and present that award um, and recognize the nominees at our event on March the 1st. Now, I have to say, this is the kind of an event that I love. It's for a great cause. You mentioned that robust silent auction, which is always my cup of tea. So for those who are interested in attending the Power of the Purse, how can we purchase tickets? Again, we want you to go to the United Way of the Low Country website. Tickets are $65 um, per person, but this year we're really encouraging people to come as a couple. So if you purchase two tickets for yourself and your significant other, it's $120. And even though it's you know power of the purse and it's women united, we know that it takes a village here in our community. So we're looking for people to show up as couples to bring their spouses. We are working on having silent auction items um, that are specific um, toward um, our male counterparts and um, having some wonderful items that they would be interested in bidding on as well. So um, we're looking for everyone to just come up, come to the event and, and show up and support um, what we're doing in order to help Operation Backpack and our Breaking Barriers to Education Fund. Excellent. Now, really quickly, tell us a little bit more about those two causes. Of course, I'm happy to. I mean, Power of the Purse, this is our one and only fundraiser. We use it to fund um, our Breaking Barriers to Education Fund, which is a helpline that is available through the United Way. And we really look to fill the gaps where other agencies may not be able to help a family in need. Sometimes it could be dealing with transportation. If somebody um, you know, doesn't have, uh, has issues with their car and no one else can help them fix it and they can't get their children or their grandchildren to school. So we will step in and find another partner that will help us um, help that particular family. Um, the bigger event that we also do in order to break those barriers to education is we do Operation Backpack, which takes place in August. This past year, for the 2017-2018 school year, we filled over 600 backpacks to schools in both Buford and Jasper County with school supplies, uniform shirts, and of course, a backpack. We're looking to raise more money this year and maybe fill even more backpacks. Fantastic. Well, Karen Wyman is a member of the Women United Steering Committee. Karen, thank you so much for being with us today. It's always a pleasure. Happy to be able to spread some good news. Upon our return, we've got Officer Tab Walker talking distracted driving awareness. Plus, Low Country Weekly is back to take us out and about. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.